everyone my name is Christy and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here so for today's video I thought I would do my 2019 favorites um, these are all the products that I was really really loving throughout the year of 2019 not all of these products came out in 2019 but I've been using them in 2019 and I've been loving them. So I don't have like that many products, but I still wanted to make this video just to share what I've been loving. So I'm just going to get right into it. So in 2019, um, for foundation, I was mostly using the Fenty Beauty Pro Matte Foundation. And then once I was done with it, I decided I wanted to get another foundation just to try out because I do like trying out different foundations and I decided to get the Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur foundation and I really really love this foundation it's the foundation I'm wearing right now this provides a more natural finish which I like my skin has been less oily so I don't feel a need for a more matte foundation but my skin's not super dry and therefore I wasn't really wanting a more like dewy foundation. I was wanting something that was somewhere in between so a more natural finish and this definitely provides a natural finish and I really love it. Um, I feel like the shade match is pretty good as well and yeah this is just a really good foundation. I really like this. So my next favorite I would have to say is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and this is in the shade Deep. This is what it looks like. This is a really great affordable bronzer. It smells really good. Yeah this leaves a nice warmth to the skin but I gotta say another bronzer that I just recently got for Christmas that I have been loving is the Becca Sunlit Bronzer and this is in the shade Bronze Bondi and this is what it looks like. I'm going to hold the two bronzers up side by side. So as you can see um, the Becca one right here is a little more I would say like red toned. But yeah both are really great bronzers. I would say you know Becca is more higher end so their products are a little more pricey so if you're wanting something more affordable I would say get the butter bronzer by Physicians Formula they have a good amount of shades now um, I remember at first they only had like two shades and they were very very light so I was really excited to hear them come out with more shades for more deeper skin tones and yeah the deep one I feel like is a great one so the next product I want to talk about is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Wisp. This highlighter right here is so good. I'm going to swatch it. This highlighter is so great. This is what it looks like. It's so pretty really beautiful sheen. I would say this highlighter is becoming like a holy grail for me. It's a soft kind of champagne gold. Really really pretty. I love it. I totally recommend getting this highlighter. It's just it's so beautiful and it's so affordable and it's so easy just to you know throw in your bag or if you're traveling just throw it in and you don't even need a brush for it. You can just Take it on your finger and boom, boom, boom. And it's great. So yeah, definitely have been loving this. Ever since I got this, I've been using it non-stop. And I feel bad for my other highlighters. They're probably sitting in there like, please use me. Like, they're probably feeling all neglected. So, but yeah, super great product. Can't say enough good things about it. So since we've been talking about mostly face products, I figure why not mention my blush favorites of 2019. I have been using this non-stop ever since I've gotten it and this is the Alomar Cosmetics Medium Tan um, Blush Trio. These shades are just all so beautiful. 
Um, I would say that my favorite has to be Seclusion right here. It's just a beautiful like peachy shade and I feel like it can go with any makeup look. And it also, and it just gives a nice subtle color to the cheeks. You know, because a lot of times I don't really want like an intense blush, especially if I'm doing like kind of a look like this where it's just like, you know, light on the eyes, um, you know, not a lot going on. If I'm wanting, if I'm doing like maybe like a more natural or like everyday makeup look, then Seclusion is definitely my jam. It's just like a subtle pop of color. These blushes are really great and uh, this is great for traveling too. I really love it. And the packaging I feel like is really pretty as well. I really like it. Another blush that I've been loving is the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights Pressed Powder Blush. Um, this is in the shade So Retrograde. That's what it looks like right here. You know what? Let me swatch these. So this right here is a beautiful orange blush. And it's got a beautiful sheen to it, too. So, yeah. That's what it looks like right there. Yeah, this is beautiful. I love this shade. It's so fun, especially, like, if I'm doing a really, like, warm look. This is my go-to. I just love it. I feel like it's so unique, so beautiful. Let me swatch the Alamar blushes. So yeah, up top is the Alamar blush. This is Seclusion, beautiful peachy shade. And then right here is Isla, the middle shade. This shade right here, gorgeous pink shade. And then Toasted. I don't really use Toasted a lot, to be honest. This is more like of a kind of mauve purple shade at the bottom right there. To be honest, I don't really use that color a lot. I mean, it's pretty, don't get me wrong, but it's not the most subtle shade. So, I mean, but if I'm ever wanting like, you know, something different on the cheeks, then, you know, something different and more bright that will really stand out, you know, that's a great shade. But yeah, totally recommend those blushes. So yeah, in 2019, I know I purchased quite a few eyeshadow palettes but if I had to narrow it down to like my absolute favorites that I got it would have to be these two palettes right here the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Ina palette um let's talk about the ColourPop one first the Sweet Talk palette like how cute is this packaging also by the way I've used this palette so many times. I've done tutorials using it. Um, these are just such beautiful warm tone, like peachy pink shades, and which I really love. I love these types of colors. I love like pinky tones, like peachy tones. I love like warm tones. Like this brown work it is like my go-to brown when I just want like a little bit of color in the crease. But I don't want to do like a crazy eye look or, you know, like if I don't have a lot of time to get ready. And I just want to throw like an eyeshadow color on the eye. You know, work it. This brown right here is just, it's so great. It's a nice, you know, warm but not too warm. It's like kind of like a caramel brown shade. It's absolutely gorgeous. And they've also got some glitters in here too. These shades, which are really great. Um side to side a nice super shock shadow and yeah i just love this palette it's so beautiful easy to travel with and my kind of shades you know warm browns and pink tones i totally recommend that palette if you are like me and love the warm pinky and brown tones and yeah it's also a great palette to use for like an everyday look as well and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Ina palette um, is also another fave of mine. I, ever since I got it, I've been using it so much. I really love it. The shades in here are, feel like really unique. And this shade right here, Zam, is 
it's stunning like I use that shade so much it's so beautiful and just so classy it's like I feel like that shade is a perfect shade for like just a night out like whether you're going like on a date night you're going out to the club and if you're feeling like oh I don't really know what kind of look I want to do but I want to look glam but I want it to match my outfit this shade right here is just oh it won't do you wrong like it's just so beautiful like most of my looks with this palette I'll be honest I would throw ginger and edges into the crease and then Zam on the lid and maybe even a little credit on the outer corner just to give a little depth and that right there is just a killer look a killer and beautiful look like your eyes will just look like so beautiful also the shade wigglies too that's another like beautiful shade i love that one but i gotta say like sam is my absolute favorite oh another product for the eyes that i gotta mention now of course this has been around for so long i can't even remember if i got this like exactly in 2019 but i gotta mention this um the nyx glitter primer is so good it's so great for if you're putting like a glitter or shimmer eyeshadow and you're wanting it to stay on your lids this is great yeah i have hooded eyes and if i don't use this then my glitter or shimmer eyeshadow will get everywhere and it's a pain and this really helps to keep it on my lids especially to help it not transfer so much now we're almost done I just got to mention some lip favorites. Um, so for lip liner, I got to mention the Morphe lip liners, especially these two shades. These two shades are my most used shades. This shade is in the shade Petal. I'm wearing it um, on my lips right now. The shade Sweet Tea. Oh, I love this one. This such a beautiful brown shade like a warm brown shade I love it and the shade petal like a beautiful kind of terracotta um, terracotta color these are both so beautiful I feel like the shade sweet tea is definitely a dupe for Mac strip down liner um, if you are running out of MAC strip down liner and you don't want to spend a lot of money on a lip liner I say go out and get the Morphe lip liner these are very good lip liners they're affordable and they have a great selection of colors as well I gotta give an honorable mention to the Girlactic lip paints um, the shade Posh I got it swatched right here has been a favorite of mine for years it's such a beautiful nudie pink shade. I really love it. Um, and also the shade Spice right here. As you can see, the colors are pretty similar. They're both pretty similar pinky nudes, pinky brownie nudes. I would say Spice has a little bit maybe more... It's like a, a tad lighter than Posh. Yeah, but both of these, I know they look so similar, but... They're both such beautiful shades and yeah I really like them. This next favorite is not going to be a surprise at all. This has been my go-to gloss for the entire year. Like it just oh, has a special place in my heart and I'm so upset that it's running out because this was a limited edition gloss and this is the e.l.f. Alyssa Ashley gloss in the shade Nude Rose. Um, I kind of hate mentioning this gloss because you can't even get it anymore and I'm so sad like this shade is just it's so beautiful like ugh, such a beautiful rose shade like I can barely even swatch it because there's like barely anything left I'm so sad this is what it looks like right there it's so pretty and 
you know, the pigments there. It's comfortable on the lips. It's not sticky. It also smells great too. I'm so sad that I'm running out of this gloss and, you know, I wish they would, I don't know, bring it back. Like, it's so great. I love this gloss and it's so affordable. This gloss is like six bucks and the packaging's beautiful as well. I'm so crushed that I'm running out of this too because I really love this gloss. But I just recently, but I just recently picked up a new gloss and I'm gonna include it in my favorites. I don't care. I'm wearing this gloss right now. Um, this is the Flesh, Flesh Beauty Hot Sauce Lip Gloss. I can't remember what shade this is. It just says 325. Um, but this is the gloss I'm wearing right now. Everything that I'm mentioning, I will list down in the description bar below. But yeah, this gloss, it's really, this is a really great gloss. Um, I like glosses that have more pigment to them. I don't really care for clear glosses that much because I mostly just like wearing glosses on their own or with a lip liner. And yeah, so I'm wearing this gloss with um, the Morphe Petal Lip Liner. And yeah, this gloss is just, it's very comfortable. It is a little, I think it is like a tad sticky, not even that much. It's great pigmented gloss. They're not really dupes. This one is more, you know, like it says, like a nude rose, kind of more like a hair, more like cooler toned even, you can say. It's not like totally cool toned, but this is definitely more warm toned than this one. Um, this is more like a warm rose, I would say. Another gloss that I gotta mention is the Smashbox Gloss Angelus Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade 72 and Honey. Um, this is a really good nude gloss. I like the formula as well. This has been like my go-to for that. That is all my favorites um, for the year of 2019. Um, I really hope you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Also give this video a thumbs up. I definitely want to be making more videos in 2020. I hope 2019 was good to you. It was pretty good to me. Um, I'm happy to say there were some ups and downs, but a lot of good things came out of 2019 for me and I'm really happy about that. Let's all be excited and optimistic for 2020 and keep positive. That's all I gotta say. But yeah, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. I hope you all have a great year, 2020, and I will see you in my next video, and thank you for watching.